not the mighty Mississippi, not the sunshine in LA. It's not a snow capped Rocky Mountain on a warm summer day. It's not the glow of a full moon shining in the night. There's nothing grand about a canyon that holds a candle to your sight. Most beauty that I've seen is you. Davis, take you, Julia, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Julia, take you, Davis, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. It's you.
Welcome, everyone. As you probably know, I'm Julia's father. <laughs> On behalf of Dan and Linda Garber and my beautiful wife, Kathy, we would like to say it means a lot to us that you could come tonight and share the ble this blessing, this blessed day with us. It has been <laughs> great pleasure getting to know the Gerbers. We found it was very easy sharing time and being with the engaging and humorous family. <laughs> Congratulations on raising a wonderful and responsible son. Well, Davis and Julia. Yes, you're probably all waiting to hear some saucy details of how they first met. <laughs> but they weren't sharing them with me. <clears throat> Davis and Julia complement each other well. Each supporting one another and working things out together. We have since come to love Davis but we do have some concerns with his choice in sporting teams. <laughs> you see, he's a big fan of the New York Yankees. What? What? And the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> it seems like it, it seems that he likes to go with sure things. <laughs> well, they're all good, they're all not bad choices if you don't live in Cleveland. <laughs> so we will give him a pass and try to avoid the topic. <laughs> Gladly, they both have a lot in common. Both are alumni of Bowling Green University. Both had excellent marks, and both talking in great detail about how their students performed each day. <laughs> we think they both chose well, and we welcome Davis and his entire family with joy. We are looking forward to a long-lasting and blessed marriage, so please raise your glass and join me with the toast and support of their union. Hi everybody, I want to begin by saying uh, what an honor it is to be here today as Davis' best man. Um, you're always been someone that I look up to and I'm just beyond grateful that I get to share this moment with you and Julia. You've been the best big brother to me and growing up together is something I always look back on fondly. Sports were such a big part of our lives back then and I miss going to BGSU's homecoming games, playing flag football, and all those nights at Carter Park. I'm so proud of you for working hard to get where you are today by completing your master's and pursuing the career you wanted to. Your commitment to doing things and doing them the right way is something that, I al that has always pushed me to better myself. I'm so proud of both of you for becoming the amazing people you are today. It's crazy to think that you met over six years ago at BGSU and now you two will be Falcon Flames forever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Julia coming over to my for my mom's homemade pizza, a staple in the Gerber household. Uh, typically, it was just the four of us for pizza, uh, so I knew Julia had to be special to get an invitation. <laughs> uh, every time you came over for dinner, I could see how much Davis loved and cared about you, and that love has only grown stronger. I'm so happy to call you my sister now, and I can't wait to get to know all the Porcellas better. I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to the couple's parents, Jim and Kathy, and Dan and Linda, for raising such amazing people who I'm able to call my family. I'd like you all to join me in a toast to Davis and Julia. Uh, I wish you a lifetime of happiness, excellent health, and success to the newlyweds. <laughs> Hello, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Laura, I'm Julia's cousin. Um, before I get started, can I talk about how good they look? 
Um, when Julia first asked me to be her matron of honor, I was so excited and honored. Of course I was going to say yes. I've always looked at Julia as a second, second sister to me. We were raised so close in age, and we've, all, we've been through so much together and shared so many experiences. From when we used to fight over the colored crayon cups and the special chair at Grandma and Pop Ops when we were five, to, all, <laughs> to always busting out in laughter during prolonged grace at family dinner. <laughs> we've been through so many life events that when she first brought Davis around for the first time, and I saw how smitten she was with him. I could tell that Davis was going to be an integral part of our family. I see the special bond. <laughs> I'm not the emotional one. <laughs> okay. I see the special bond that they have that reminds me of our grandparents. I know that the love. <laughs> I know that their love is definitely one for the books. So now that all the women in my family are crying, <laughs> if everyone could raise their glass and cheers to the new we was. <laughs> Heavenly Father, man, we thank you for such an awesome day and an awesome couple. God, we just continue to pray that you would just. Man, use Julia and, and Davis to just show your love to the people around them. God, we just pray for everything that they're going to embark on in this life. Lord, we pray that they would have such good times together, that they would have a growing family, Lord, and just that they would continue to have success in their jobs as well. So God, we just pray that tonight would be glorifying to you. Lord, I pray for our, our conversations that we're going to have over dinner tonight. Lord, we bless this food, and we thank you for the hands that prepared it as well. Lord, we just pray and ask that you would be with us throughout the rest of this night and our travels home. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 